Welcome to the Pit My Setup Highlights for episode number 154. The first setup was submitted by Dennis. Uh, you're not centered to the monitor. He also said that the left monitor is a TV, which that's a, that's a small TV, but okay. Uh, and he plans on getting rid of that soon and getting another one of the smaller displays. So don't know if that's like the best idea. Uh, it could work, especially having two of the same smaller ones. It, it kind of gives you more space on a desk that size, and at least you can send yourself a little bit more. You know, it is simple. It, it's you got some cables going all over. Uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, we can't see theme. We can't see really too much of anything in this setup, which is definitely a letdown. Dennis scored a 62. The next setup was submitted by Peter. You know, everything in the setup, though, is really nice in terms of usability. Look at the headphones. Look at... The, the lamp and uh, he's got the uh, hub mounted to the underside of his desk and really a lot of different steps here to take to the next level. A lot of people freaking out about the PC uh, and it sucks because that's like a beautiful PC that we really can't even enjoy, but you don't have the room for it. Peter scored an 82. The next setup was submitted by Oliver. He did say he actually plans on putting art above but as of right now, he can't find anything that he likes. And that's fine. He's aware. The far back shot here looks great. Like really, really nice. And I think that was a big deal for him, including this. If he didn't, uh, and we go to the, the first photo, it's like, oh, he just moved in. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just kind of set things down. But you, you look at the far back shot and you're like, oh, this is like a real living space. He's got the slap of the bass and he's got his amp and everything which is really really nice at the end of the day to really get the top score you need to just get some uh some life into it so i like that you have the the old camera like i said before maybe follow suit with that a little bit you know and uh he also says that he does photography why not get one of your own pics and get that blown up on the wall and bam Oliver scored an 86. The next setup was submitted by Matt. Sound quality is the most important thing in his life. And his uh, girlfriend finds that a little bit offensive. But yeah, he said that it comes at the cost of having all this equipment on your desk and all the wires that come with it. You know, the first thing I thought about, though, because I didn't really look at the equipment. I'm not going to lie. The first thing my eyes gravitated towards were the, the height of the monitors. And then I tried to put myself in that 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 set up and kind of picture it and i don't think they're they're like too high to the point where it's not usable but i do think he's got to be looking up a little bit he did add the shelf and that was his attempt his idea of adding a bit of personality so guys i'm not going to share my thoughts i want to know what you think leave a comment matt scored a 76. the next setup was submitted by jan game of thrones oh, i didn't even zoom in first of all, it's really wrinkled man you gotta it's like really wrinkled. The best thing for you to do is to uh, get a frame and that will actually flatten it out. You know, the speakers are a bit odd. They're really in the far back corner, especially that right one. It's just sort of like, you know, simple. I don't know what to say about it. it it's just like cool, but not like, oh my God, I want that. Oh, Jan scored an 88. The next setup was submitted by Alan. There's a lot going on. I mean, even the windowsill's got a dog with like antlers, but I didn't think that it was overwhelming. You look at it and that's maybe probably the first thing you look at is how much stuff there is, but I don't think it's like hurting the setup. You know what I mean? I think for a majority, like I look around the desk and it seems pretty simple. What's cool about the setup though, is it does have a great theme and he is 14. He doesn't have the best um, you know, he doesn't have the best monitor. He doesn't have the best everything, but he did a great job with it. Alan scored an 88. The final setup was submitted by James. Uh, no, but seriously, this may look really badass for being 13, but this was his before photo. Now, click that button, Tam. Oh my God. You know, part of me kind of liked certain things in the first one, like the corner desk. Obviously, what he was going for it wasn't going to work having the, the triple monitors and everything, but I, I liked what he was working with. Is that a surfboard? Because it's starting to warp already, dude. <sighs> you, need an, you need a mouse pad, an extended mouse pad. That's what everyone seems to be saying. I totally agree with that. I mean, how do you even, why would you even submit to my damn show without one? What he wrote in his email is, I like Star Wars, right? He, he said he's a Star Wars fan. Oh, so having two helmets makes you a fan? No one wants to see your damn boxes. Okay, I say this every episode. Everyone thinks this is what a great setup is. Like, you need to have triple monitors, it needs to be super clean, no wires, and that's it. And that's what makes a great setup. No! And that's why I said, I, I said earlier, I liked a lot of the different things he had going on in the setup. I didn't think it was a bad setup. It just needed, you know, a bit of, a bit of love in, you know, certain areas, and it would have been fine. So, I don't know, though. 
I don't know, senor. James scored a 90 and won first place. Thanks for watching the Pit My Set of Highlights for episode number 154.